Hey everybody, it's December 3rd and this is an asynchronous assignment about solving equations with squared values and square roots. Okay, so um, we're first going to look at kind of this, we're going to notice some patterns in the table at the left. If I start looking here, there's 5, 25, 2 is blank, and this 1 or 49 is blank, but then I know that 4 and 16, and I'm going to kind of notice the relationship. Um, and then I see some other values here. Um, now, if I start looking for the pattern, um, maybe you've already noticed something, but I'll fill in a few more and you can see if you can and notice what's happening. For two, on the, on the left, I would put four on the right. For eight, it's 64. For six, I'm oh, sorry, for one, one, and then for six, 36. So if you have the value on the left, what am I doing to find the value on the right? And if you didn't already know, this, this is really you, this is the square. If I square the value on the left, I can get the value on the right. Now let's, let's go the other direction. So if I'm looking for the relationship from the right to get the other way, what can I do? So let's look at a few examples. For 49, I get 7. Ten, um, for 100 on the, on the right, I get 10 on the left. And for 9, I would get 3. And so what's this last value for 81? Um, what would this entry be? And just so you know, you can square root that value on the right to get the value on the left, and, or picture what number squared. So what would this last entry be for 81? And it's nine, because 81, the square root of 81 is nine, and also it's nine times nine, nine squared that gets me to 81. So um, if I'm picturing square roots, really what the relationships we were looking at were square and square roots, and kind of they're, they're the same, they're inverses. The square root symbol indicates that the answer is the side length of a square that has the area of the, the number inside. It is the inverse of a square. So notice the little symbol there, that two. We use the symbol square root, it, it is always a positive number, just something to know. So let's look at an example, kind of the most basic here. If I say solve, and it says the square root of x equals 8. The solution is 64. And let's look at the reason. There's kind of two explanations. Explanation one, if I'm looking inside, well, the square root of 64 is 8. But I could also think, kind of think about this as undoing. And to undo a square, a square and a square root are inverses. They cancel. A square and a square root cancel. So if I square both sides of this equation, I would get on the left that x, the square and the square root cancel and I get x equals 64. Let's look at one more explain, um, example. So here I have the equation square root of, um, the square root of x minus 5 equals 7. That means that x minus 5 equals 49. Whether I think of squaring both sides or just because I know that 7 squared is 49, right? And then I add 5 to both sides and my answer is 44. What I meant there is it should be that um, x equals 54. So then if I look, if I plug that in, 54 minus 5 is 49, square root of 49 is 7, so that works. Okay, so if I have a squared term, when we consider a variable term that is squared, we always have two possibilities, a positive case and a negative case. So here's an example. If x squared equals 64, x could be 8 or x could equal negative 8. And the reason, if I'm looking inside, 8 squared is 64 and negative 8 squared is 64. So both are possible solutions. If I'm looking at undoing a square and a square root, so to undo a square, a square, I square root, square root of both sides. When I add the square root in, I always get this kind of plus or minus answer. So really my, my answer, it could be 8 or positive 8 or negative 8. Let's look at one example. Here, I've got x plus 2 quantity squared equals 25. Well, that means that x plus 3 equals 5 or x plus 3 equals negative 5. The reason I know this is because 5 squared is 25 and also negative 5 squared is 25. So then when I solve, if I solve on, on the one equation, I subtract 3 on both sides, 5 minus 3 is 2. And on the other one, if I, if I subtract 3 from both sides, um, x equals negative 8 because negative 5 minus 3 is negative 8. Um, and there's my answer. And here's one to do on your own. So you can try this out and select on Edpuzzle the answer. Here I have square root of 
of x minus 7 equals 9. What does this have to be? What does this have to be to be true? All right, everybody have a great day and I will see you soon.